He is known for being the first European to establish contact with the native Tupinamba population in modern-day Brazil. He is recognized for being instrumental in the early colonization of Brazil by the Portuguese crown. His name is Karamuru. In the annals of history, there are figures whose indomitable spirit and thirst for discovery have forever changed the course of human knowledge and understanding. One such luminary was Karamuru, the Tupi name of the Portuguese colonist Diogo Alvarez Correa. Born in Portugal, Karamuru became notable for being the first European to establish contact with the native Tupinamba population in modern-day Brazil, playing a crucial role in the early colonization of Brazil by the Portuguese crown. Karamuru's journey began in the year 1500 when he arrived in Brazil as part of a Portuguese expedition. It was during this expedition that he encountered the Tupinamba people, forming a bond with them and earning their trust. This encounter would prove to be a turning point in the history of Brazil, as Karamuru facilitated peaceful relations between the Portuguese and the indigenous population, leading to further exploration and colonization. One of the most significant aspects of Karamuru's life was his marriage to Catarina Paraguacu, a native-born Tupinamba woman. Their union not only symbolized the cultural exchange between the Portuguese and the indigenous people but also played a pivotal role in the early history of Brazil. Catarina Paraguacu holds the distinction of being the first South American native to be received at the Palace of Versailles in 1526, showcasing the significance of their relationship. Caramuru and Catarina went on to establish the first Christian family in Brazil, setting a foundation for the spread of Christianity in the region. They had three children, Gaspar, Gabriel, and Jorge, all of whom were named knights by Tomé de Souza, the first governor-general of Brazil. The expeditions and experiences of Karamuru had a profound impact on the world, laying the groundwork for the colonization and cultural exchange between Europe and South America. His role as a mediator between the Portuguese and the Tupinamba people paved the way for future explorations and interactions in Brazil, shaping the course of history. As we reflect upon the early colonization of Brazil, we are reminded of the remarkable figure of Karamuru, whose bravery, diplomacy, and cultural exchange continue to inspire and shape our understanding of the world. Karamuru's legacy as the first European to establish contact with the native Tupinamba population in Brazil remains an integral part of Brazil's history and the exploration of the New World. In 1509, a young Portuguese man named Karamuru embarked on a journey to the Portuguese colony of Brazil aboard a French vessel. However, his ship met with disaster and he found himself stranded among the Tupinamba Indians. The Tupinamba gave him the name, Karamuru, meaning, More, and he eventually married the chief's daughter, Paraguacu. Over the next 20 years, Karamuru maintained contact with European ships and used his influence among the local natives to assist the Portuguese crown and missionaries during the early years of colonization. In 1526, he traveled to France with his wife, where she was baptized and became the first Brazilian Christian. They returned to Bahia in present-day Brazil at the request of King John III of Portugal. In 1534, Karamuru aided Francisco Pereira Coutinho, the first captain of Bahia, in establishing the settlement of Pereira. However, due to Pereira Coutinho's mistreatment of the Tupinamba, they turned hostile, and Karamuru followed him to Porto Seguro to resolve the situation. On their return, their ship was damaged, and they were captured by the Tupinamba. Karamuru was spared, but the captain was consumed in a cannibalistic feast. In 1549, Karamuru played a crucial role in assisting Tomé de Souza in founding Salvador, the first government over the Brazilian colony. He continued to serve the Portuguese crown until his death in October 1557, leaving half of his wealth to the Jesuits. His wife, Catarina Paraguacu, passed away in 1582. Karamuru's sons, Gaspar, Gabriel, and Jorge, were honored for their services and went on to help establish Cacoera on the Paraguacu River. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.